Hello friends, welcome to my channel Techno Sujata. Today we will see multimedia tags in HTML5. I am creating separate media.html file for this session. We will add all the media tags in this file. We will first add our document type structure in HTML file. Let's add our first media tag that is img tag. In img tag, you can mention src and alt attribute. Alt attribute specify alternate information for the user if the image is not displayed. In src attribute, you can add local image path or external image path. For adding local images, you need to have images in your HTML project. So let's create a new folder, media folder. So you can keep all images, video, audio files in this folder. Inside media folder, I'm adding one image. Let's add our local image path. You can see the media folder along with our nature.jpg image path. Let's save the file and see the result on browser. You can use a live server extension to check your changes on browser. You can see our image has been displayed on browser. In alt tag, you can add any alternative information for that image tag. Along with the alt tag, we will add width and height for that image. You need to add width and height in numbers. I am adding width like 300 and height as 200. Let's save this. On browser, you can see width and height is applied to that particular image. On my local Visual Studio code, you can see this cute little pets are dancing. If you want to download this VS Code Pets extension, do watch my shorts video. I am adding that link in my description box. Same way, you can add external image path in src attribute. Along with this attribute, you can use src set, long description, loading, is map, use map, refer policy attribute in img tag. Let's jump to next audio media tag. Audio tag is used to display the sound content in documents such as music. HTML5 supports three audio formats, mp3, wav and ogg. Same way we can add local and external audio files path as we have added in images. Let's add audio file in media folder. In audio tag, let's add source tag to add local and external audio file path. Along with the src attribute, we will mention type attribute to mention the type of file. In src attribute, let's add our local audio files path. For mp3 audio file, we need to mention type as mpeg. In audio tag, we can add controls attribute. It specifies that we can display the audio controls like play and pause buttons. Let's save this and see the results on browser. You can see the audio controls like play and pause buttons have been added in audio. Likewise, you can add other attributes like autoplay, muted, loop, preload. So I am adding autoplay, then muted and loop. You can ignore the preload if you are using autoplay. On browser you can see the, our audio is autoplayed and it will be play in the loop and also it has been muted. Like we have added internal path, we can add external audio path in audio tag. In audio tag, you can add different audio sources like mp3, wav and ogg. But the browser will display the first one that it supports. Some browsers does not support the audio tag. So you can add a text inside the audio tag. So instead of displaying the source file, you can see the text on that browser. Let's jump to our next media tag that is video tag. Video tag is used to embed the video elements like movie clips or other video streams. In video tag, we can use the same attribute like we have used in audio tag. HTML support three video formats, mp4, webm and ogg. For adding internal source path in video tag, let's add video file in media folder. Let's add src attribute with our internal video file path. You can see here the name of video file that we have added in our media folder. We need to mention the type of video file while adding the source path. Currently we have added mp4 file so we need to mention the mp4 path. 
Let's add video tag attributes. First one is control. Control specifies video controls such as play and pause. Next one is autoplay. Autoplay attribute is used to play the video automatically as soon as it is ready. Next one is muted. Audio output of a video element will be muted with this attribute. Then loop attribute. Video will be played in a loop every time it is finished. Along with this attribute, you can add width and height for the video tag. Currently, I am adding 300 as a height and 300 as a width. You can add preload attribute also, but if you are using autoplay, then you can ignore preload attribute. Then comes poster attribute. Poster attribute is used to specify the image while the video is downloading or until and unless the user hits the play button. Like internal path, you can add external path in video tag. You can add text between the video tags. So this text will be displayed if the browser do not support video element. On browser, you can see our video file with all specified attributes. So friends, let's wrap up the video for now. We have seen in this video all HTML media tags along with the attributes. If you like my video, please click on like button. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends and families. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.